Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you six ways to share your location on Android. Now the first three options I'll show you are something you would use if you really trust the other person, because they actually share your live location for extended periods of time. But the second three options are basically messenger services, which allow you to share your location for that point in time. Now first up is Google Plus, and this is everybody's favorite social media service to hate on these days. But honestly, it's one of the best options for sharing your location on Android. Basically, you just go to this top menu here, then choose Locations. And from here, you can hit this three-dot menu button and go to Location Settings. This will actually let you choose who you want to share your location with and how accurate you want that location sharing to be. So you can share on a city level or a pinpoint location if you want. But the end result once you've got it all set up is that you can see everybody's location on this map. So this is obviously more geared towards sharing two-way location data with your wife, your kids, and other close family members. Then the second option here is actually Facebook, which is my favorite social media site to hate on. With this convoluted app, basically you just tap this button in the top right corner, then choose nearby friends to see who's sharing their location with you. They'll have to set this up on their end as well, and this really doesn't tell you exact locations, it's more like neighborhoods. But if you want to share exact locations, you just tap this location icon right here and then you can choose how long you would like to share your pinpoint location with this person. Then third is an app called Glimpse and that's spelled with a Y by the way. This one's basically about sharing your pinpoint location for a preset amount of time. So let's say you're in transit to your friend's house and they just want to keep an eye out on your progress. Well basically you just tap the location icon at the top of the screen and then hit share location then from here you can choose who to share your location with, how long to share it with them, and you can even add a message or show your destination on the map. Then like I said, these next three apps are good for answering the age old question, where you at? First up is Hangouts, which is Google's messaging service and it makes sharing locations incredibly easy. Basically you just tap the location button down here at the bottom of the screen, then it'll look for your location, use your GPS to get a lock on you, at which point you can just share your location directly, your exact address, or you could pick a location that's nearby if you're at the local coffee shop, for instance. The next up is WhatsApp, which works by the same principles as Hangout uses, but it's just a little bit different in the way it executes them. Basically, you tap this attach icon here at the top, then you pick location from this menu, and it works just the same as Hangouts in that you can share your exact location, or you can choose from a nearby business if you're not necessarily willing to share your address. And finally, we have Facebook's Messenger app. This one's pretty much the same as the other two, but they've hidden the location sharing option behind this three dot ellipses over here in the bottom. So you just tap that basically and then you hit location. And again, just like the other two, you can pick from your exact location or a nearby business, send that information right over to your friend. So all six of these apps have their different appeals and they each work very well for what they do. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on gadgethacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.